Horns up and welcome to Headbangers Kitchen. My name is Sahil. I'm a heavy metal music fan and I'm also a musician, which is why this show is called Headbangers Kitchen. I'm also living the keto lifestyle and cooking up keto recipes, which is why Headbangers Kitchen is a heavy metal cooking show that's keto all the way. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Today we are going to be cooking up a delicious keto ground beef dish. This is going to be some ground beef cooked with some broccoli and some zucchini in a delicious creamy and cheesy sauce. In fact, I feel like it's going to remind you of a delicious beef casserole, but we're going to cook it like a stir fry. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. So I'm going to start by prepping my broccoli and I'm just going to cut the florets away from the stem. Just use your knife and cut those florets right off. You can also use your hands and just break the florets away from the stem. Pretty simple. And that's it, your broccoli is ready. But don't throw away the broccoli stock. It can be used in a number of recipes. I'll put all the information on headbangerskitchen.com in the blog post. The next thing I'm going to do is chop up the zucchini and since I had a pretty large one I decided to only use half of it for this recipe and the other half of the zucchini will be used after about three or four days when I need to make this dish again. So just cut the zucchini I like to cut it down the middle and then chop it up into nice bite sized pieces and once you're done with the broccoli and the zucchini it's time to get cooking. So I'm going to start as usual by getting my non-stick pan on the stove and I'm going to heat up some avocado oil. If you don't have avocado oil, there are plenty of other options. I'll mention all of them on the website in my blog post. So once the avocado oil is nice and hot and just about starting to smoke, I'm going to add in my ground beef. Now you want to get 80-20 ground beef. That is 80% meat and 20% fat. If you don't like beef, you can use pork, chicken, lamb, whatever. Any ground meat will do the job. So anyway, put that beef in the pan and let it start cooking. I am, however, going to season it right now with some salt and some pepper because I like to season the dish as I go along. That way you build a lot more flavor into it. I'm also going to throw in a little bit of red onion that I have and some freshly chopped garlic. And the onion is optional, you don't have to use it if you don't want to, if you don't like it, you can put as little or as much garlic as you like. But you want to cook the beef, the onions and the garlic together now, the onions will start to soften and that whole thing is going to smell really delicious. Once that's been cooking for about a minute, I'm going to season it now with some paprika. And I'm going to be generous with the paprika because I really love the flavor. I'm also going to throw in some red chili flakes because that's going to give it a little bit of heat and some fresh thyme and if you don't have fresh thyme you can use dried thyme you can also use rosemary oregano plenty of options it's completely up to you anyway I'm just going to give this all a good mix and let it cook now and what's going to happen is that beef fat is going to melt and render out and the beef is going to fry with all these spices together and all of it is going to fry and turn into something really beautiful. Anyway, the next thing I'm going to do is add in my zucchini. And I realized I have a lot of vegetables for this pan. But anyway, I'm going to give it a good mix without spilling any of it outside the frying pan. And then I debated whether I should put the broccoli into this frying pan or whether I should shift over and use a bigger dish for this. Anyway, I said let me take the risk and then in goes my broccoli. And it all fits but I'm going to have to be precautious while I'm stirring everything. Anyway, I'm also going to season the broccoli now with some salt and I'm going to cover it now and cook it for about a minute or two. After checking in, I'm going to be brave and give everything a good mix and try and get everything mixed together without spilling everything out of the frying pan. And looks like I'm doing okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grate some cheese over this. And I'm using a cheese called Scarmosa. But you can use any cheese that you like. You can use cheddar, you can use mozzarella, you can use gouda. It's completely up to you. Anyway, once I've grated a sufficient amount of cheese over that, 
I'm also going to add some heavy whipping cream. And now I'm just going to cover it and let it cook for a little while more. After a minute or two, I'm feeling brave and I'm going to give everything a stir once again and hopefully nothing will spill over. And now I'm going to cook this for a bit longer because I want my broccoli to be nice and tender. But if you like it to have a little bit of snap, you can cook it for a shorter duration. So anyway, now I'm going to cover it and let it cook for a little bit more. And finally, now everything looks like it's coming together. I'm going to taste it because, well, I need to check the seasoning. And I felt that mine needed a little more salt, so I added a little more salt. And now, of course, you'll see that there is some liquid in the frying pan and you'll want to reduce this so you can cover it and cook it or you can remove the lid and cook it. It's up to you. But now to finish the dish, I'm going to throw in about a tablespoon or two of cream cheese. And this cream cheese is going to melt and it is going to make the creamiest and most delicious ground beef and broccoli and zucchini stir fry. I mean, this is going to be awesome. So anyway, give it all a final good mix. And once the liquid in the pan has reduced to your liking, it's pretty much done. So I'm going to serve myself some in a bowl. I'm going to grate a little fresh Parmesan cheese on the top and sprinkle a little bit of paprika. And that's pretty much it. Our beef stir fry is ready. So enjoy this for your lunch. One well-filled regular size bowl should be sufficient. Hey folks, so I hope you enjoyed that recipe. It's a great dish for meal prep. In fact, you can get a full free keto meal plan by just clicking here on the i button. Check out my keto for beginner series where I give you free meal plans. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and do subscribe to Headbangers Kitchen. And also make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notifications. Now, before I let you go, there are a few things I'd like to just tell you. Now, if you don't like beef, you can make this recipe with ground pork. You can make it with chicken, turkey, any meat will do. Similarly, with vegetables, if you don't like broccoli and zucchini or you can't get it, you can make this with bell peppers, mushrooms, spinach. The world is your oyster. Anyway, that's enough jibber jabber from me. I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking. Hey folks, guess what? I wrote a keto recipe book. This is Keto Life, which is my latest book with my 100 best keto recipes. It's got everything from soups to snacks to main courses to desserts. Link to order it is in the video description box just below this video. So do check it out. Also, if you want some more keto recipes, just click here and watch another video. Or if you'd like to check out some of my music, click here and listen to some of my heavy metal music.